Hi, my name is Laura Wogzogan, and I'll be your instructor this semester for Math 110 Honors. This is our Canvas course, and I am on a tablet right now. It looks a little different if you're looking at the course on a phone or on a computer, but it should be very similar. So the welcome page here has my name, my email address, and then also the course information. You can go ahead and select announcements down at the bottom and you'll see that we have a few different announcements on here to look at. One is a welcome and one is about Zoom office hours that start week two. Also on the home page you have a link for modules and if you click on modules you'll notice that you have a list of information for unit one which is chapters one through four. In here you have your notes Underneath that is the lecture videos, homework, quizzes, and then also exams will be eventually listed in here. This is broken into units, and so unit one is going to cover the first set of material, and our exam one will be covering chapters one through four also. The lecture videos, if you were to select one of those, is either going to have a play button right away that you will see, or you'll see something that says launch external tool. If you click on that or click play, you'll be redirected and from here you can play the video. Throughout the video there will be random questions that are checking for your understanding of the material and do the best that you can to answer those. At the end of the video it will ask if you've watched the entire video, which you have if you've gotten to that point. Make sure to check yes and that's how you'll receive your points for watching the video. Under modules we also have homework and homework is going through an online program called My Open Math. And again, if you are working on a different device, it might have you starting the assignment right away. If it doesn't, if it says Launch External Tool, click on that. From here, you'll notice that it says Start. It might say Resume if you've already started the, the assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and select Start. And from here, you'll notice there's a drop-down menu with the different questions, and you can select. And if you're stuck on a problem, I want you to notice that there's hints down at the bottom. The hints might redirect you to an online textbook that's not our textbook, but it's a free and open textbook to be used. There also might be videos for you to be able to watch to help. Or there might be a similar example that is worked out to kind of help along the way, too. Once you're done, there is a submit question button at the bottom that you need to select. Again, homework can be reattempted as many times as you need to until the due date. We also have a chapter quiz. The chapter quiz is not yet available, so we cannot look at that yet. Make sure you look at the syllabus to see when that's going to open back up. In addition to our home page, which we just looked at. We also have a syllabus. The syllabus, there's a link at the top to download the PDF, which looks like a handout that you would have received on the first day of class from me if we were meeting in class. But there's also a copy down below. Looking at this, it goes through a course description. The textbooks, there's actually two different textbooks that are equivalent that you can use. The required course material, a couple things to know, is that you need to have a scanner. You can either use a scanning device that's on your phone already, or you can download an app, or you might have a scanner at home. In addition to that, you need a graphing calculator, and that's an expensive item. I'm going to be using a TI-83 or 84 graphing calculator, but there are apps along with a Casio version that's a little bit more affordable. We have prerequisites student learning outcomes, course measurable objectives, and I'm going to leave that up to you to read on your own. The next item that we have is homework, and homework is either going to be assigned online through My Open Math, like we just looked at, or through the textbook. The online homework will use a program called My Open Math. For written homework, the problems must be numbered and written down in consecutive order on paper with all work shown neatly and legibly. No work is no credit. Any problem that requires a graph or table needs to be shown with a problem. Please scan all of the pages in order for each assignment and upload on Canvas as a single PDF. There is a link there in order to help you out if you've never done this before. All homework assignments are due by 11.59 on Wednesday for each week. 
The assignments are listed on the Math 110H Fall 2020 course schedule, which is down below. No late assignments will be collected. If you're struggling with homework and you need help, on the My Open Math homework there are links at the bottom, again, to kind of help you out. Another resource is the ASAC or the Marks Tutoring Center, which is on campus or virtual at this time. You can also email me questions that you might have. The next thing that we have are class notes. It's your responsibility to print and complete. If you don't have access to a printer, you may complete notes on a tablet or online paper. Lecture videos need to be watched entirely for credit. There will be some problems throughout the lecture videos that will be skipped, and those are ones that we will discuss together during our Zoom mini lectures. The Zoom mini lectures are going to be on Mondays from 12 to 12.45 p.m. Quizzes. We have individual online My Open Math chapter quizzes. They'll be assigned weekly. They are timed quizzes and they cover the recent material covered in class and on the homework. Quiz problems may be attempted only once and quizzes will make up 5% of your final grade. Quizzes will open on Wednesday at 12 p.m. and will be due by Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. every week except for weeks that we have exams. Failure to complete the quiz by Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. will result in a zero on the quiz. We will have some projects that will be individual. There's going to be two individual computer projects assigned during the semester. They will be using a computer program, not a graphing calculator. Project due dates are listed also on the schedule. And more information will follow as we get closer to those due dates. The bulk of your grade is going to be coming from exams and the final exam. So there will be three exams that are indicated also on our schedule. The first one will cover Unit 1, which is Chapters 1 through 4. Part 1 will be online through My Open Math on Mondays of our exam weeks. And Part 2 will be written and will be given during class time on Wednesdays. Additional information on the exams will be provided during the Zoom mini lecture from the week before the exam occurs. In addition, we also have a comprehensive final exam. It's going to be cumulative, and more information about that will be given when we get closer to that time. There is a breakdown of our grades. We also have some information about marks and how to register. This is a free online tutoring service that Mount SAC provides. Absence and drop policy. A student may be dropped for excessive absences if they miss more than four days of class. An absence is counted as not watching the lecture video or attending the Zoom mini lectures. In addition, you will be dropped if you fail to take any exam without talking to the instructor before the exam start time. If you must miss class, it is your responsibility to watch the recorded Zoom lectures. Reach out to classmates to make sure that you have an understanding of the material that you have missed. The last day to drop without a W and with a W are also listed. Canvas resources. Mount SAC has a great hub that has a bunch of information for Canvas. Instructor contact. Feel free to contact me at my email address or through the Canvas inbox. Expect up to a 5-hour response Monday through Wednesday, 8 to 4, and expect up to a 36-hour response Thursday through Sunday. Grading of assignments will be within a week of the due date. Calculators. You will need a graphing calculator. These are expensive. Purchasing a new one is going to be over $100. Um, Normally, students can borrow them from the T-Mark, but since the T-Mark is not open physically on campus, we do not have that option. So we have some different options for you. One is using different apps depending on the device that you have. They are listed there. Student honesty, you're expected to do your own work on exams and quizzes. I'm expecting you to follow the Mount SAC Academic Honesty Handbook. And then just a reminder of what dishonesty is. And I want to remind you that you are to be completing quizzes and exams on your own without the aid of any computer app, web page, or program. You are also to complete quizzes and exams by yourself. These are not group assessments.
student conduct. I'll let you read that on your own. Then we have email etiquette for students, just the basics. So first thing is introduce yourself. You need to realize that I have a few different classes and you want to make sure that you let me know that you're in my honors statistics course. The next thing is if you're asking a homework question, only include one problem per email. Make sure to list the homework problem and the section in the subject line. If the problem is from my open math, make sure to attach a screenshot of the problem. This is because for my open math, the problems will be very similar to one another, but your problem is unique to you and will be different for every student. Make sure to attach your work and explain where you got lost in solving the problem. Accommodations for disabilities, there's information about contacting access. And things happen and something might change between now and when a due date occurs. Any changes that occur, I'll let you know through Zoom. And I'll also be posting that on our Canvas course. Next thing we have is our fall course schedule for our honors statistics. This is broken down in weeks. You'll notice that for each week, there is a list of the lecture videos that need to be watched, the Zoom mini lecture dates, homework quizzes and projects and exam due dates that would be going on that week. In addition to this, we also have assignments. And assignments are going to list all the assignments with their dates of when they are due. We also have grades. Under grades, you will notice that there is an amount for each and how many points it is and how many points that you have. And then we also have discussions. We have one discussion right now that is introduce yourself. And for introduce yourself, there is a prompt here. And then I went ahead and replied so you're able to see my reply right underneath this. In addition, I also posted a discussion for study groups. And since we are in an online course, it is difficult to get to know one another. So this is a way for you guys to kind of get that started. So this is asking you to list your name and your Mount SAC email address if you're interested in forming a study group or being part of a study group. Then reach out to the students that are interested in forming that study group. So this is our Math 110 Honors Statistics course Canvas website, and I'm looking forward to meeting everybody on Monday during our Zoom lecture.